Hi folks, Mel here. I've had an extremely long weekend of being out of town and running errands and uh, doing just some final last minute things on my move out. Um, lucky me though, I got my full cleaning deposit back, but you know, I clean houses for a living, so of course I should get it back. <laughs> um, last Friday I had all, I have received um, an entry into my craft room challenge from my Chic Crafty group from Miss Julie Monroe. And I did post pictures of it into our Facebook group, but I also wanted to do a video because I had gotten another entry while I was out of town from Zora Sorby, which is craft time here on YouTube. So I wanted to do a quick video just to show, um, what these ladies have made and sent for my craft room challenge. I know I'm not doing it on YouTube, but this is a really great way for all the ladies in the group to be able to see it on video. And what better to do it on YouTube. But this came from Miss Julia Moreau. She did a, t a wall tessie. It's silver, it's metal, and it's pink. And look at the bridal detail appliques on this. It is absolutely stunning. And... I have it perfectly just look at these rhinestone pieces and the shabby chic flower with the pom-poms and the doilies and oh these rhinestone pieces are just to die for um, just full of them I mean just full of beautiful pieces I just love this and I love this trim and then this beautiful shabby chic bow with the seam binding and another one of those pieces I love the fact that she even lined the inside top panel so in case you were to see it on the wall or look inside of it, it is also lined. It is so ever beautiful. And right now I have my sachets in there, which I will come later and show you another video on those. But, Lancey, come on, move your tail, buddy. Get down, please. Thank you. Sorry, folks. Of course, you know my cat. But look how beautiful that is, folks. Julie, you did a really good job. This is really gorgeous. So thank you so much, Julie, for this. She didn't only make me that, but she also made me... A pin cushion, a pin cushion to die for. <laughs> it is so pretty, so pretty. Look at this. You see those flowers and the applique flower. This is gorgeous, just beautiful. And she even put pins in it. Isn't that adorable, you guys? Look at this flower. I just, I, I, you know, I, I made stick pins, and I'm about to make some more. And this is perfect. It's gonna sit on my desk. And I'm going to stare at it. And you can see, isn't that just beautiful? So this is the other piece that she gave me. She also sent me some things to alter, like a spring from a mattress and a bunch of other fun things that I'm really excited to try. Completely out of my comfort zone, but definitely a challenge for me. So I'm really excited to try those. And yes, isn't this beautiful? So thank you, Julie, for this. And then... So I also received a package from Zora Sorby, who is craft time here on Tupu, which I'll link a, a, um, a link to her channel below. But she was meant this angel kiss from Zora, but it also is um, for my craft room. And she created me a beautiful, beautiful, shabby chic banner paddle. Let's see if I can zoom that up. Isn't that beautiful? And I, it matches my room. It is just so gorgeous. Look at this lace and this little charm with beads. And oh, it's so pretty, Zora. Oh, I'm just now opening this to you guys. So this is really pretty. I opened the box, but definitely wanted to open this. Oh, it's so pretty. Zora, it's gorgeous. Thank you so, so, so much. I definitely am putting that on my wall. <laughs> Super excited. And then, of course, she didn't have to send me extras. Oh, you're so sweet. What did she send me? Let's see if I can get it out. Oh, look at you. Oh, how pretty are those? Oh, those are going to be really pretty on some cards. Oh, thank you, Zora. These are gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. Look, and they have all the birds. Oh. Oh my goodness, and I don't have any white. Oh, this is perfect. I have no white sequin trim. That's funny. I was just telling my mom I needed white sequin trim. Thank you, Zora. That was so sweet of you. Oh, and you know, I saw someone haul these from the Dollar Tree, and I've never seen them. And I'm in love with the fabric tape. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. Oh, yes, I have projects in mind for those. Oh, and look at these really cute little chipboard um, tags. 
Oh, how cute. Oh, these are great, Zora. Thank you so much. Oh, yay. Thank you so much, Zora. That was very sweet of you. Um, sorry, my my mat is really gross today. It's from the cat, I'll tell you. Anyway, so thank you, Zora, for that. And thank you, Julie, for your entries into my craft room challenge and my extra goodies from both of you. I didn't show Julie's because I've already put them away in, in fear that my my giant cat would eat them. Um, but I also want to show one other thing that came from a girlfriend of mine uh, that lives local to me. Um, she is not in our group, so it wasn't for the craft room challenge, but she did make it for my craft room decorations. And she created this fairy. And she is to die for. She built the body. Look at the little feetsies with a little shoe. She even has little pink shoes on, if you can see them. She is so stinking cute. And her hair is so pretty. I love this. I lo I, so I had bought her this hair because she said she wanted to make fairies. And sure enough, look, she's even carrying a beautiful staff. I just love how she placed the petals and the lace underneath. And then she's sitting on a, a rose pedestal. So she sits up and she's so pretty. Oops, I'm making her knock over. Look at her, she's even got little pantaloons. Aren't this she look at the back of her, folks? Isn't she just darling? So I'm really excited about her because she's gonna definitely sit up on my craft um, hoarding vault little area. I'm really excited about her. So I wanted to show her off as well um, and tell you ladies, thank you so much for um, making my craft room beautiful. Because like I said, I could never I couldn't some of these things, there's no way I could ever make. I'm just going to knock things over. There's no way I could ever make these things. So thank you so very much. And yes, Julie, this is to die for. This is going up way high, so my kitty cannot eat it. <laughs> it holds my sachets, like I said. So thank you so much, Julie. Thank you so much, Zora. And thank you so much, Lucretia. Um, I appreciate all of you ladies. You guys are ever so sweet, and I am very blessed to... Um, have you in my life. So thank you very much folks and um, thank you for watching and I'll be back again soon with a couple haul videos. So thank you. Happy Sunday.